In this step, you'll use a two-part glue. Once you mix up the two parts, you only have a few minutes before it starts to harden. So you have to know everything you're going to do before you start. So let's get set up and ready first. Do you remember that scrap strip you were supposed to save from an earlier step? You'll apply the glue to the silver part that shows, then you'll push the glue in between the sheets of aluminum. I know there's no glue on there yet, but practice the step and make sure you can get the strip in between the sheets in front of the silvery part and in between the sheets in back of the silvery part. You have to push the glue into the folds so that it will be strong and it won't leak. It can be hard to get the strip pushed in. If so, use your fingernail to bend the corner of the aluminum up a little bit. I bent the corner on this side too and it makes it easy. You usually have to cut the tips off a new epoxy dispenser. If you took off the wrapper, you'd see there are two chambers and often there are air bubbles trapped inside. I let the bubbles rise to the top and squeeze them out because you're supposed to have about the same amount from the two different chambers. Air bubbles cause problems with that balance. You have to mix epoxy really thoroughly because epoxy does not dry. It sets. It's actually a chemical reaction between the two parts. You could actually glue something underwater and the epoxy would still harden. Epoxy is messy and sometimes kind of smelly, but it's really strong. It's actually used in the aerospace industry to hold parts of airplanes together. When you're ready to start, squeeze out a small amount of epoxy. Most people squeeze out too much and waste it. You can always mix up more later. You can use whatever you mixed it with to apply it. Dab on a little bit all along the silver strip. Apply it carefully. You should not have gobs of glue running down onto the cardboard. Apply it all the way to the end of the silver strip, even where the silver gets thin and disappears. Push the strip in between the layers of aluminum and kind of walk it along and try to get some of the glue in between as well. Give special attention to the end where the silver strip disappears because it's very common to have leaks in that corner. Apply another line of glue to the other folded over edge at the silver part. Once again, use the strip to push some of the glue in between the layers. Although the quick set epoxy becomes unworkable after about five minutes, it takes about 20 minutes before it really gets strong, maybe even longer if the room's cold. By the way, beside being smelly, epoxy is very sticky and messy. Because it's waterproof, I use a dry paper towel to rub off as much as possible first, then soap and water to get the last little bit. Make sure you can push in between the aluminum layers. Mix up equal parts of epoxy. Apply it to the silver strips even where the silver disappears. Push the epoxy in between the layers. Wait 20 minutes. 